Just a small video to go through our 232 zone. Footage is from Ranla. They do some things well and they do some things kind of poorly, which can definitely be improved on in this video. Uh, first thing to note is the effort from the handler marks to get down on the force. As we are set up, we can see our two handler marks forcing middle, our two wings, and our rove. The deep is off screen but is level with the deepest offensive player. With a particular focus on our handler marks at the moment, notice how they are okay with the disc moving backwards and always are trying to force the disc into the middle towards the rove. It's very important they don't switch sides at any point. Notice how when the disc gets by them, the whole zone shifts deeper and the handler marks come on the force again. Nobody except for the handler marks should ever come on the force. Uh, notice the left handler mark tries to cut off the backwards pass, leaving the middle of the zone up to attack. See again how he tries to stop a quick pass back, but allows the pass through the middle instead. He recovers well, however. Finally, as the swing comes off, he works to stop the downfield pass before closing in the defender. Uh, with focus down on the rove, he has positioned himself between the handler marks to cut out any of the short passes through the middle. He's playing super aggressive to close to the handler marks. Uh, when we play our zone, we will have a shallow deep, which will help out the rove much more than what is shown here. And uh, notice how his head is always scanning for threats on either side. He's always aware of what's going on around him. Most importantly, the wing will tell him to cover someone coming into his area and they will trade off that responsibility. Looking at the wings now, the wings are trying to stay as close to the row as possible to help them out, but also baiting the over-the-top throw to where their player could potentially be. Notice how the wing is aware of the threat on the wing, but is leaving him as he can recover in time. When a pass does go to the wing, he lets the handler mark put the force on and deals with the downfield options. Finally, as much as possible, he faces into the middle of the pitch to see as much of the pitch as possible. After this handoff, he tries to get a D on the pass to the sideline, but recognises he won't get to it in time, so he stops the next pass downfield. Just a note on zone positioning and shifting as the zone moves. Right here the zone is on the sideline, you can see our two handler marks are uh, right on the sideline as well as the wing and the rove. However the far wing is very very far away and is not level with the rove at all. This leaves a big gap which a good thrower can just hit very easily with an overhead throw. When the zone shifts back to the far sideline the far wing is still really shallow leaving a big gap beside the rove making their job much harder. After this they recover and it's much much better. Final note on zone offense. Muck plays zone offense perfectly here and take apart the zone. They're fine with taking easy passes and moving the zone by swinging the disc from one sideline to the other. Keeping you in this with exposed little pockets. When they manage to break through a line of the zone, they move fast and continue after the disc to gain more yards before the zone can recover.